let's work on this particular related rates problem. Gravel falls off a conveyor belt onto a conical pile at a rate of 50 cubic feet per minute. The diameter of the base of the cone is always five times the height of the pile. How fast is the height of the pile increasing when the pile is 12 feet high? So let's draw a picture first. So let's say this is the conveyor belt. And we have some sand that's basically fallen off. And it turns into a pile, which forms the shape of a cone. We need to determine how fast the height of this cone is changing. So that's just a picture just to give you a visual illustration of what's happening here. But let's focus on the shape of a cone. So we have a circular base. And it looks like this. And so here we have the height of the cone. Let's call that H. And this part is the radius of the cone. And the diameter is going to be twice the length of the radius. So we can say that D is equal to 2R. Now let's make a list of what we know. What does the 50 cubic feet per minute represent? Anytime you see cubic feet, cubic meters, cubic something, it represents volume. So this tells us the rate at which the volume is changing. And so that is the quantity for dvdt. It's 50 cubic feet per minute. Now we're told that the diameter of the base of the cone is always five times the height of the pile. So the diameter, which is D, is always equal to 5 times H. And D is 2R, so we could say that 2R is equal to 5 times H. Now, our goal in this problem is to determine the rate at which the height of the pile is changing when the pile is 12 feet high. So we know that H is 12, and the rate at which the height is changing is represented by dH dt. And that's what we're looking for in this problem. So how can we calculate dH dt? Well, first, we need to relate the height to the volume because we have dV dt and we need to calculate dH dt. The volume of a cone is represented by this equation. It's 1 3rd pi r squared times the height. Now, if we try to differentiate this equation with respect to time, we're going to have dr dt and dh dt. So we're going to have two missing variables, which we don't want to be in that situation. Therefore, we need to get rid of this r and replace it with h. Fortunately, we have an equation that relates r with h. So solving for r, let's divide both sides by 2 in that equation. So r is equal to 5 over 2 times h. So now let's replace r with 5 over 2 times h. 5 squared is 25, 2 squared is 4, and then we'll have h squared times h, which is h cubed. Now let's go ahead and differentiate both sides with respect to time. And I'm running out of space, so let's just get rid of some stuff. I'm always running out of space. The derivative of v is going to be 1 times dv dt. And then we can rewrite the constants. So that's going to be 25 pi. And here we have 3 times 4, which is 12. So 25 pi over 12. And the derivative of h cubed is going to be 3h squared times dh dt. So now let's plug in everything that we have, and let's calculate dH dt. So dV dt, that's 50. And h is 12, so this is going to be 12 squared, and then dH dt. So we could at least cancel a 12. That's good. And 
So we have 50 is equal to 25 pi times 3 times 12, which is 36. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 25 first, because it goes nicely into 50. 50 divided by 25 is 2. So we have 2 is equal to 36 pi times dh dt. Now, if we divide both sides by 36 pi, we have dh dt is equal to 2 over 36 pi. And 36, you can write it as 18 times 2. So we could cancel a 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So dh dt is going to be 1 over 18 pi with the units feet per minute. And so that's the answer. Now let's work on another problem. Water is leaking out of an inverted conical tank at a rate of 7,500 cubic centimeters per minute. The height of the tank is 8 meters, and it has a diameter of 6 meters at the top. Let's draw a picture. So this is going to be the radius of the circle, and then this is the diameter. And here we have the height of the cone. If the water level is falling at a rate of 15 centimeters per minute when the height of the water is 0.25 meters, what is the rate at which water is flowing into the tank? So we have water going into the tank, and some of it is leaking out of the tank. So we need to take into consideration those two things. Now the height of the cone, or the height of the tank, that's 8 meters. And we're told that the diameter is 6 meters at the top. So D is 6 meters. Now the height of the water, we're told, is 0.25 meters. So how can we find the rate at which water is flowing into the tank? Now we need to realize that the difference between, let me start over. The difference between the rate at which water is flowing into the tank minus the rate at which water is flowing out of the tank, that's going to equal the net volume flow rate. Now this is what we need to solve for. That's the rate at which water is flowing into the tank. We have the rate at which it is leaking out of the tank. That's 7,500 cubic centimeters per minute. But how can we calculate this term? Because that's the part that we're missing. So that's the net rate at which the volume of water inside the cone is changing. We need to use this equation to calculate it. The volume of a cone, 1 third pi r cube, I mean pi r squared times h. Now, Let's write down what we know. So we know the height of water in the cone is 0.25 meters. We also know the rate at which the water level is falling, and that's dHgt, because the height is changing. And because the height is decreasing, it's going to be negative 15 centimeters per minute. Now notice that we have different units. We have centimeters and we have meters. Now, it, it's best to convert meters into centimeters because I really don't want to convert cubic centimeters into meters. That's going to take more time. So let's start with 0.25 meters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So the unit meters will cancel. 0.25 times 100 is 25. So H is 25 centimeters.
Now, notice that we don't have dr dt. So we can't differentiate this function in this form because we'll have dv dt, which we need to calculate. We have dh dt, but we don't have dr dt. So we need to replace r with h. How can we do that? Let's write a ratio between the height of the tank and the diameter. So the height of the tank is 8 meters, and the diameter is 6. So if we cross multiply, we're going to have 8d is equal to 6h. And we know the diameter is twice the radius. So if we replace d with 2r, we're going to have 8 times 2, which is 16. So 16r is equal to 6h. Now we need to solve for r. So we got to divide both sides by 16. So r is going to be 6h over 16. And if you divide both numbers by 2, we can say that r is 3h over 8. So let's replace r with 3 over 8 times h. 3 squared is 9, 8 squared is 64. And then we have h squared times h, which is h cubed. One third of 9 is 3. So this is going to be 3 pi over 64 times h cubed. So now in this form, we could differentiate both sides with respect to t. The derivative of v with respect to t, that's going to be dv dt. And then we're going to have the constant 3 pi over 64. And the derivative of h cubed using the power rule is 3h squared and then times dh dt. Now, it's important to understand that this is the net dv dt, basically this value right here. It tells us the net rate at which the volume of the water inside the cone is changing. It's the difference between the rate of water flowing in and the rate of water flowing out. So let's plug in what we know. H is 25. And dH dt, that's negative 15. Now let's plug these numbers into the calculator. So 3 pi times 3 times 25 squared times negative 15 divided by 64. So as a decimal, dv dt, the net value, that's going to be negative 4,142 and rounded to the nearest whole number. And it has a unit cubic centimeters per minute. Keep in mind, dht is centimeters per minute. And h is in centimeters, but it's squared. So now let's calculate this term. So let's replace this value with negative 4,142. And then we have dv dt, the rate of water flowing in. And the amount of water that's flowing out, or the rate at which the volume of water is flowing out, that's 7,500. So what we need to do is add 7,500 to both sides of the equation. And so it's going to be negative 4,142 plus 7,500. And so the final answer is 3,358. So dv dt, the rate at which water is flowing into the tank, that's 3,358 cubic centimeters per minute. And the reason why it's positive is because this quantity will increase the volume of water, whereas this quantity decreases the volume of water in a tank.